Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Fiction Watch Views. Today in front of you I have two new watches that came in from AliExpress. For those of you who don't know, AliExpress is a platform which has a lot of watches, a lot of men's automatic watches as well, and they offer huge discounts. Um, just an overall great you know, website for shopping for affordable watches. They're running the back to school sale August 19th through 25th with huge savings. Um, I will drop some codes on the screen now so you can take a look at the actual savings. And as you can see, uh, the savings are pretty good. Jenny 9, $30 spent, you get $9 off. Jenny 15, $65 spent, you get $15 off. Jenny 25 code, you spend 100, you get $25 off. Now the shipping was very fast and very quick and everything arrived pretty safely. This is the Addy's Dive kind of puck watch. It's an automatic diver, which is really nice, uh, very affordable. And then in this box here, we have a Sugus, it says Seastern, which is a Seastern automatic dive watch, which is really nice, great specs for the price. And we're gonna be taking a look at both these watches today. Now the first watch we're taking a look at, the Seastern watch, does come with an extra really nice strap as well. It does come with your warranty card and a little tool to adjust there, uh, which is pretty nice for the actual money paid for this one. Now here in front of you is the Seastern V2. This watch is very affordable. Of course with the sale, you're gonna pay a lot less than that. You're gonna minus 25 bucks off that, which is a pretty good deal. This watch is really, really nice. You're really impressed me. You're getting a lot of stuff for your money here. And if I didn't mention, AliExpress does offer free returns, um, which is pretty nice. And you can just sign up for your little account there and you get a whole bunch of benefits as well. Up to 80% off uh, site-wide, you can find a bunch of discounts in this back to school sale. Uh, which is pretty good. Anyway, the watch is a dive watch. It's a very nice looking dive watch. This one is in the black dial. They come with a green dial, a blue dial, a bunch of different variations. This is the V2 on the bracelet. They also do come on a uh, rubber band as well. You can check out it. We'll drop all the links down in the description below for this watch and the other watch we'll be taking a look at. Anyway, jumping right into it. It's a 39 millimeter diameter case. We have a 12 millimeter case thickness. We have 20 millimeters in between those lugs there and it is fitted on the Oyster style screw link bracelet, which is very nice considering most watches at this price point, you would see pins, screw down crown, 200 meters, water resistant. You get a ceramic 120 click rotating bezel, which is very nice, very nice clicks, minimal back play. Very, very nice, I must say. The bezel action is very good on this one and everything does line up perfectly to that 12 o'clock position, which I do like to see. Screw down sign crown, as you can see here, with the S for Seastern. Mostly brushed, all solid 316L stainless steel. The finishing is really nice, as you can see for the money. You're getting nice little beveled edges here on these sides of the case. And on the other side, if we go to the flank, you can see very nice, no sharp edges, very nice finishing and great grip on that bezel as well. We also are getting a sapphire crystal, which is very good at this price point. So you're getting ceramic bezel, sapphire crystal, you know, a whole bunch of good stuff, more coming up. Anyway, um, the actual watch itself is running an NH35. Most guys are very familiar with this movement. It beats at three hertz, has about a 40 hour power reserve. We get hacking, we get hand winding, and uh, this dial keeps things pretty, pretty clean and legible with those large Romans going around the dial, and then you have little hour markers in between on the, on the outer portions as well. And everything is loomed in BGW9 on these uh, ceramic bezel, the hands, and on all the numerals going around the dial. Seaster logo is printed below the 12 and then above the six, we get 200 meters automatic. Um, yeah, pretty easy, legible to read, easy to read layout. I like it. Obviously it's kind of homaging, you know, another brand, um, you know, for the money, I think it's a pretty decent offering. And the bracelet is very nice as well. I was quite surprised by that. <laughs> you get this really, really nice bracelet, um, solid end links, all screw links, polished on the sides. And you come out to this nice clasp here with that little nice little logo. I really like that. Kind of reminds me of, <clears throat> reminds me of the beach, um, which is pretty cool. Two buttons opens up to a milled clasp, so you can see here. And the really cool thing about this model is you are getting this self-adjust clasp, as you can see here. Over here, if you push, let me just push that. If you can see here. You can adjust it on the fly as an on the fly adjustment. So you don't have to pay a lot to get these features. I've actually seen this same clasp on like thousand dollar Swiss watches, um, which is pretty funny. Um, but yeah, that clasp is on this watch and this watch is under $200. Um, so yeah, great, great deal for the money. And the case back is actually really nice. They custom mold with the wave with the little starfish there, which I thought was pretty, uh, pretty nice. Screwed in, very detailed, solid end links as you can see there on that bracelet. Sapphire, just some basic specifications there. 
but really, really nice for the money, I must say. I'll go ahead and test the crown here, unscrew this. You get self-winding in the first position. Easy to grip, no issues there. Obviously, this is kind of, you know, like, kind of like a skin diver vintage style case, so there's no crown guards on this model. One position, and we can hack the movement and set the date here, and then we can hack the movement in the final position. And everything functions really nicely, no issues there. Uh, screw the crown back in, as you can see here, no issues. Looks really nice, feels nice on the wrist, and uh, it's a nice size for the modern watch enthusiast, I must say, and I really do like this quick adjust and this clasp. This clasp is really, really nice. Feels much higher end uh, than the actual price of the watch. Really nice, solid click, very sturdy and not too thick. Uh, so I definitely do appreciate that. Now this watch does have very, very good loom. I'm gonna get you a loom shot right now. Like I did state, the watch has very, very good loom. Definitely a little bit stronger on the hour and the minutes hand. Uh, but I must say the loom on the bezel is definitely very, very visible at night. As you can see, evenly applied, no blotting or anything like that. Everything looks really, really good. And the 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 are definitely filled in pretty nicely there, as you can see. And the loom lasts pretty long. Now, sized up for my 6.5 inch wrist. As you can see, these dimensions fit my wrist just perfectly. Um, it definitely fits very nicely. I really give it to that clasp. The clasp is really, really nice. And uh, very legible, as you can see, even with the light on it, you said AR coating doing its job on that sapphire crystal there. And overall, a very nice fit. Great for, you know, the beach, the pool, um, or just every day. Even can be dressed up with this one. So very versatile timepiece for the money. Now, next up, we have the Addy's Dive 1000 meter diver. Really, really interesting watch. Perfectly circular. Almost looks like a hockey puck, uh, which is pretty interesting. Now, this one coming in, I found at AliExpress for $88. But of course, with the code uh, Jenny15, you're going to save 15 bucks off that. So you're going to spend, you know, about... $73. I think for $73, this watch has a lot of specifications for the money, and I think you're getting a pretty good deal. I mean, it's kind of hard to find a watch for that price. Um, that's the price of some watch bands, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, let me just give it a little shake here, get it going. As you can see, there she goes. It is an automatic dive watch, uh, which, you know, for the price, 70 bucks, I think you're getting an automatic watch. I think that's a pretty good deal. You're getting a, um, a very nicely built watch. Um, it's very surprising, in my honest opinion there. Anyway, some basic specifications on this one. Obviously, the brand is Addy's Dive. Um, it is 46 millimeters in diameter, but it's a circular watch, lugless design here. Um, in between the lugs, we're looking at 22 millimeters, all solid 316L, stainless steel all around. Top to bottom, you're looking at 46 millimeters. That'll be from here to here. So it's very circular, as you can see there. It's gonna plant itself on the wrist, so it doesn't really wear as big as a 46. Um, but just a very interesting watch and 1,000 meters water resistant. And for $70, you're getting a helium escape valve. I don't know how they do this, but it's a, it's a great deal in my honest opinion there. And you, of course, we're getting a screw down signed crown here. Very nice with the Addy's Dive logo there. And we are getting a full stainless steel bracelet as well, as you can see. Um, yeah, overall, a very, very nice watch. We are getting a 120 click ceramic loomed bezel, which is really crazy. Ceramic loomed bezel and a sapphire crystal as well, all with BGW9. As you can see on all these hands, these paddle hands here, and on all the markers and the bezel, we are getting BGW9, which is Swiss loom. And the bezel action is actually pretty decent for the money. I thought it was pretty nice. And everything does line up perfectly there to that 12 o'clock position, as you can see. Now, this watch is also getting an automatic movement, right? which I think is a great thing, you know, for this price point at $70. You're getting an automatic movement, sapphire crystal, ceramic bezel. Three great qualities, you know, for this price point, in my honest opinion there, uh, which is really nice. Also, 1,000 meters of water resistance with a helium escape valve. If you want to dive with this thing, you're going to have no issues whatsoever. Now, the watch does come on a stainless steel bracelet. Also, as you can see, you're using pins, but it's actually a pretty decent bracelet, I must say. Very fluid, as you can see there. Uh, fits nicely on the wrist. You get a standard clasp here. Opens up two buttons. Uh, to a standard clasp here. Case back is, has the Addy's Dive logo and is screwed in, as you can see there. Um, pretty decently finished, I must say. Including all around of this case is very smooth. Uh, all around is just really, really smooth. No issues there. Now, what's inside of this watch? Well, for $70, we're getting the NH35 by Seiko. Very, very nice automatic caliber for this price point. Seen in watches up to $500, US which I think is great. Um, as you can see, you get a nice screw down crown here. Let me go ahead and unscrew it. No issues there. Pretty solid crown. 
It's self-winding in the first position. And of course we get a quick set date. And then we get hacking in the final position. 40 hours of power reserve, beats at three hertz, and a very reliable you know, movement that's gonna last you a very, very long time. This one is also filled with a bunch of BGW9 loom. And I really like that black dial. It kind of, you know, really, really pops. It's kind of glossy in a way, uh, like Rolex does with their Samariner. Really, really nice. Um, kind of really looks very classy, I must say, for a diver. Um, yeah, I want to get you a loom shot because this one is a loom monster as well. Now, fully loomed up, and I did tell you, the loom is very good on this one. And the actual sweeping seconds hand is fully loomed. I thought that was really cool. Um, but yeah, definitely very, very good loom. I would say just as good as the other model from Seastern. Um, but yeah, really, really good loom for the price point, I must say. Now, sized up on my 6.5 inch wrist, as, as I told you, it doesn't wear as big as the dimensions suggest, considering it's a lugless design. As you can see there, it fits top to bottom just perfectly on my 6.5 inch wrist. Although it does appear to wear, you know, a little larger because it's basically all dial, all case, and you're not getting any lugs there, but it's definitely a pretty unique and cool design. I'm sure you've seen this design from some other watches, but this is, you know, a great price for all the specifications you're getting. I don't think, honestly, you can find a better quality watch out there for the price point. You know, about $70, you're getting a sapphire crystal, you're getting a ceramic loomed BGW9 bezel, NH35, and all around decent, decent case build and finish. Um, it's kind of hard to find something like this, and you're getting a thousand meters of water resistance. This one is just a great, great deal. And you know, if you have the money, I think you should definitely jump on this. Uh, pretty, pretty nice watch for the money, guys. So furthermore, guys, I think these two watches are absolutely great, great deals for the money. I mean, you're getting a lot for your money in terms of actual case build, quality, and specification. You're getting a lot for your money. You know, from other brands, this would probably at least, you know, you know, cost double the amount as you're paying, you know, from AliExpress. So, um, but yeah, they are having their sale up until the 25th of August. I will drop links down in the description below. Uh, to AliExpress where you can purchase these with these special codes. And uh, yeah, definitely check it out. There's a lot of stuff on sale and a lot of good options to choose from. Um, yeah, no quality control issues on mine on both these models. They're running great. They arrive very fast from AliExpress and I can't say anything else. I think uh, it's a good deal. Let me know what you guys think. Do you own any of these watches? Do you have any uh, questions or concerns? Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. This is the Addy's Dive Puck Diver, I'll call it. This is the Seastern V2 uh, Automatic Diver. Both great watches for the money. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Like the video, share it with your friends, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in.